Hey everyone, welcome back to yet another episode of GenAI Vlog. In the next couple of videos, we're gonna develop a couple of resources on Azure Cloud. So we're talking about container registry, container instances. We're gonna push some sort of app locally using Python through Docker container. And then we're gonna build some sort of small web-based application on Azure. It's gonna be a live API endpoint with a URL so that the user can see. First things first, let's walk through the architecture. Here we have a very simple architecture drawn in front of my screen. Let's start with this box on the top. This is a Python script. You can think about it as a Flask app uh, or Streamlit application, radio application, things like that. Uh, so this app is natively written in Python. So once this app is written, what we're going to do is we're going to pack it together using Docker container. And then we're going to run locally just to make sure that the app is doing exactly what we want to do. And we can see things exactly what we want to see. And perhaps this couple of buttons, maybe you're building a chatbot, things like that, right? So Docker container allow you to pack it together to test that locally in a safe environment. Next, what we're going to do is push that to a container instance on Azure. The way to do that is, of course, you need to create a container instance at the first place. So we're going to physically go on Azure Container Registries and create the instance just like that. Once you have the instance and you successfully pushed the Docker image to that instance, now your backend is essentially ready. Uh, so you can think about that as a serverless backend, and that goes into somewhere to support the platform. So where does it go, right? It goes into Azure Web App. So on Azure Web App, uh, you're gonna create a web app and then on that web app, you can then deploy it using this container instance. And that's gonna give you the user interface. And it's gonna be a web-based application with a live API endpoint managed by Azure API Management. And this API gives you a live URL so that it can be accessed through certain ports online using a browser. And that's how the user can see it. So with that being said, next couple of videos, we're gonna dive into the infrastructure to how to do this.